it's amazing in the spring and in the summer. In fact, all year, there's some people that wait at certain in intersections and panhandle. And they have some very humble messages. Uh, anything will do. Thank you. God bless you and so on. Um, when I was going to teach almost, uh, um, say, 30 miles away, um, I leave here about 6.30. And uh, 6, 6.30. And there's a guy out there saying that, oh, I'm so hungry and homeless. Uh, anything would do. And just a block away, they're having breakfast. In fact, the block, well, of course, they, they charge $5 a night to stay. But, um, you know, this is a hustle. And many of them will boast how much to make a day. You know, they just go out and spend a little bit and make 60 bucks. Sometimes I give something. If somebody asks for something, instead of saying, no, I don't have a lie. I'll just give them a quart or whatever, you know. Uh, you've done something, you've given something. Um, but the question is though, when these individuals have um, received a, you know, a gift and so on, they say, God bless you. Can you rely on their saying and their utterance? Would God really bless you for that? Can they apportion God's blessings? Uh, I don't think so. I don't think they could apportion it. And I don't think that God blesses you for giving them anything because... Many of them, all they're doing is, you know, go and smoke or, or do drugs or whatever they uh, want to do. And um, God won't bless you for that. In fact, he knows what they're going to do. And he's telling you not to. But I don't feel bad these days, you know. Uh, this is America. The governments try the utmost to help folks, you know, survive on the safety nets and so on. And uh, many of them are getting a check. It mightn't be a lot. But if they were serious, it could work. Um might be food stamps, whatever. Um, I don't know whose problem it is, but eating is a very economical proposition. Basic eating. You could get um, about uh, 60 ounces of corn for a dollar. Same thing with green beans. Um, rice, I don't know how much rice is sold for pound. Um, you're going to eat corn every day. You get chicken, I don't know what for pound, but you could see how economical... For one day at least, um, you could eat one 15-ounce can of corn and probably get the proteins you need for a day. And um, you get your potatoes or, you know, and so on. So they, they could do it, but they just don't know about nutrition. I recall once I was at a certain um, delicatessen, and, and this individual is buying. He bought chicken, he bought turkey, he bought corn and greens. I say, yes. Well, I don't know what he has eaten before. I don't know what he's going to eat after. But from the purchase, I would think that, um, you know, he's buying just proteins. And the corn has roughage in it, but the greens also has maybe different minimal minerals. The, the, the corn is uh, mostly protein and so on, right? But he needs some carbohydrates in there. So instead of buying chicken and turkey, um, he could have bought chicken, rice, the greens, and see if you can get some fruit, and that would have been good. So folks don't seem to know uh, what they ought need to do. But then the scripture says that, uh, I think it was the psalm, it said that, uh, I've been young and now I'm old, and I've never seen the righteous forsaken, nor the seed begging bread. So if a guy is at the corner begging, is it means that he's not necessarily um, one of God's children, because uh, apparently God will provide for them and so on. Um, you know, when, when you're a Christian, you have some, some serious things to do. You have to take care of your health, get a good education, so that when you mature enough, you get your job and you get your family. You just can't hang around and you're old and don't have a job and then you need family. You know, all those complications. That's how it works with God. You, you, I'm not sure if who really has ability or not, but it seems as if average ability could get you far. You just apply yourself. It mightn't be that you're going to be the president or run a big corporation, but you get a job that you could take your business. And, um, you know, the, 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 it's easy to get in with McDonald's as a young person. Some people stay on and become old and have family and car and all that. That kind of money and a swing to take care of that. You have to have an education and to get a job that is going to be paying sub substantially more than that. Yeah, so this guy here, I've seen him before. Whenever a car is approaching, he goes on his knees and he's doing that prayer pious thing. And, um, I mean, you know, it's such a joke that I'm not, I don't think he, he takes himself serious. But he makes himself, his face serious and so on. I don't know him. I never follow up to see what he does with stuff. But generally, um, 
you know they're getting some checks some GA general assistance might be getting a, a disability check but um, what they do is uh, in a couple of days around the month then say they get the check on the first by the time the fifth it's over but in those days you don't see them in Toronto uh, around those times you can't get a taxi all these folks on social um, benefits are charging taxis to go into the grocery store to go in to buy beer to buy cigarettes you know and the pain any taxi driver a nice tip and so on but then as soon as that money's finished around the fourth or fifth they're going back to panhandling going back to doing whatever they will do to get some money whereas if they were thinking and living differently they will use that money and budget it and to take care of the month uh, even in my country I remember this you get pay on Friday people party all weekend buy nice clothes and so on and then Monday morning they need hey give me some money to catch the bus well I mean you got paid you had fun right maybe you should walk to work or get up early and walk down the road or get you some other transportation bicycle or something so folks need to understand that you know you just can't right now I recycle sometimes and uh, I would like to have a motorcycle that I could go far and wide so that instead of waiting in this community that everybody put out the stuff I could go everywhere and get my quota and leave you know in but two three hours but if I, I buy a motorcycle there's some communities I go into the guys are seeing it and they, they, they want are you selling that bike he's not serious about buying the bike their bikes every store has bikes there's bikes everywhere and Craigslist everywhere but he's just trying to engage me in a conversation to find where I got it from how much it is and you know the next thing you know I pull out the gun and take it one day I was riding a bike I had a 120 110 cc bike or something like that this guy running his side and playing like you want to fight so I turned back around I said bro why you want to fight me bro I mean I didn't do you nothing bro what's up you know but really and truly you wanted to take that bike because when the other guys who have bikes going to ride out on Sunday afternoons he doesn't have a bike and he wants to go but I don't believe that in America he can't get a bike if he wants one the next time I see my, my computer I'm going somewhere to computer hey you sell that computer he don't really want a computer to buy he thinks that I'm gonna sell it for 20 bucks it's worth 500 I'm getting for 10 or 20 because I one guy say I give you a couple of rocks for that motorcycle uh, sorry sir I, I, it's not my bike whatever you know and um, you know one guy rode off with my bicycle well it's a long story because I think that somebody was behind it uh, how it really went down but um, you know so I can't have a bike because they're gonna shoot you if, if they see you, you, you're trying to talk about it you're gonna gun you down all right so these guys are doing all these stunts at the, at the ex exits and the entrances to the highway and so on they, they, they don't need to be there it's illegal the police normally run them but they just come right back and continue to hustle and you know people for a variety of reasons will still give I give sometimes if they you know look desperate or if they ask me I'll say instead of saying no I'll give them a quarter I'm not give them no five bucks no 20 bucks whatever so I give them a dollar if I know the one or whatever you know so it, it's an interesting hustle that happens all year round but mostly in the um, spring and the summer at the entrance and the exits of the highways.